I want to talk to you guys about something. So, I've been witnessing a lot of certain things in the past week. Last week, I had to call the police on a guy that was harassing women in a parking lot. And that was interesting. Um, and then today I had to witness a older gentleman riding his bike literally collapse in the middle of the road. It was the most terrifying moment of my entire life. More than the car accidents that I've ever dealt with. Because this guy was moving. He was literally not moving. And there was no cars near him. The closest car was probably like 10 feet away from him. And it got me thinking you can't always save everyone. The guy that was one of the first responders or a police officer I think he came up to me because I had to sit in my car because I, I had my phone on me and there was a bunch of people helping but I wanted to have my phone on me just in case anything happened and I would be like right on it. Plus it was pouring rain right out. <sighs> um you can't save a rule. And this guy he didn't know where he was. He probably looked like he was maybe seventy something. And it was it was absolutely terrifying because the look on the guy that was on the other side of the road in his car when we stopped um for him to go across the crosswalk but he wasn't actually at the crosswalk and it was pouring right now so he might have slipped on his pedals or something but we don't we don't really know and I haven't heard anything from the hospital that he went to. Um, he did get up and walk. And that made me excited. But when the first responder, our police officer, came out to me and was like, Do you know what happened? I, I told him every single thing. Um, and even details and stuff. It was interesting. And he's like, he had no clue where he was. And I'm like, well, that's not good. And it got me really thinking, and I was like, what if I wasn't there? What if someone was a little too close to him? It, it would have been bad. I realized that I had my phone on me at the perfect time. And I was just trying to get to a stupid bakery to get an application. That's all that I was trying to do. And even though I had to stop what I was trying to accomplish, trying to find a job, well, part-time job, maybe less hours than part-time. Um, my head is literally itchy. I have braids all through my head. <laughs> I haven't washed my hair in like two days. Um, but it's fine. Um, but sometimes you, you have to try and save people, even though you don't know how to save people. You can't see it, but I have, um, on this wall right here, I have a 
big old poster of Superman. I'll show you in a moment. And I just watched Arrow too. <laughs> Maybe four episodes of Arrow. Season two. With my brother. And those two guys. Arrow. And Superman. They make me think. And then. I want to do. Like the right things. And. Try to save people from. Whatever going on and then I realized it was like I really can't I can't save everybody if I was Superman and yes as a child I thought I was Superman's sibling throughout middle school I called myself Superman's sibling I was like I'm related to Superman no one understood <laughs> Um, everyone thought I was weird, but look at me now, I'm Superman's sibling, saving people. And while I was watching this guy try to figure out who he was and stuff, I was thinking first responder and then when I got home I was thinking a little bit more about it I was like what what if I do a little bit of first responder stuff test it out for like a couple of trips see if but I'm very crazy with blood or amputated shot wounds and all that kind of lovely stuff. Um, car accidents really make me nervous. Because I've had quite a few. And like my neighbor just texted me. Um, <laughs> so It's just, I'm always trying to be on top of things. And like, in the truth, I can't. I can't look for jobs, save people's lives, and try to keep myself from drowning in the rain. Um, yeah, it was downpouring today. Perfect day to go job hunting. It's gonna rain for the next week. Uh, um, so, oh my gosh, what in the world, <sighs> um, so, if you feel like you want to help out people, and you see a situation, don't, don't ignore it, help them, it's probably... The best thing you could possibly do. Helping others. As ever since I was little, I've been really into helping people. And I still am. I'm always helping people. It's sometimes kind of stressful. So. Don't be scared if you see something go on. Speak up. You don't want an elderly man laying in the middle of the road and no one paying attention to him. You don't want a child standing on the side of the road crying their eyes out. <laughs> My neighbor's kid recently did that and I told him uh, this afternoon. I was like, do you know your son was standing on the side of the road bawling his eyes out? I was like, nope, must have been at work. I would be like, yeah, I think you were because I didn't see anyone around. Um, how many three-year-olds stand up at the driveway bawling their eyes out screaming? I used to do that. Um, 
leave it to my neighbor's kids now. Um, and even when, like, I'm on top of everything. Like, I have, ever since I was probably, like, seven, six years old, my hearing is, like, a dog's hearing. Um, and it, like, people, when I was little, they would be like, you have really heightened hearing. You can hear things really well. And, yeah, it's kind of creepy. Um, but I did lose a little bit of hearing out of this ear when I was 21. Um, yeah, don't go on an airplane when you have an earache. You kind of, yeah, kind of went deaf out of this ear for a week. I don't know, it was like four days or five days or something. I, I just couldn't hear. Like, it was like I plugged my ear. Um, could not hear anything. Um, and starting from that, um, there are neighbors with kids and stuff. And they'll ride up and down the road. No parents, nothing. It's freelance in it. And the, my neighbor that just texted me, her son has Down syndrome. And I'm always trying to figure out what to do with him and uh, when babysitting him. And uh, it's, it's difficult at times. And he is one of the smartest nine-year-olds I've ever met. He's so stinking smart. He writes songs. Um, he's funny. This is so smart. And people think that if you have a handicap, you're somewhat dumb. And I'm like, I have a few handicaps. I won't lie about that. And I try my best at everything. Every single day, I try my best to do everything. And today I did so much. <sighs> so, if you see something going on, don't be scared to speak up and try to figure out what's going on. Because everyone's going to want life. So. I can't lose anyone else. Now I have to go text my neighbor and tell him I might have a job. So, yeah. I don't want to work at a restaurant, but I gotta get money. <laughs> I don't know what to do. My car needs fixing. I have so many things going on. See, I'm I'm going crazy. My hair's sticking up straight. Alright, peace out. Don't be afraid. Just jump in. You don't know what you're going to expect. Or see. Or do. And I'm not being a first responder. Just to let you know. I am not going to be crazy on a job ever again. I've done that way too many times. Ugh. I'm tired. My eyes hurt. Peace out.